Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much barefaced. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I am doing this video the correct way where you see me without makeup on. I feel like there should be a parade somewhere. Anyway. <laughs> Today's video was supposed to be a little bit different. I was actually gonna start talking about Vanderpump Rules, my little recap, but I'm still kind of working on it. I'm almost done with my bullet points, but I need a little time to just, you know, zhuzh it up. So I figured, you know what? Let's do something I haven't done before. Let's do something that is just out of my comfort zone. Let's try to vlog today. <laughs> Let's try to blog today. So today I'm going to Megacon, which is basically Comic-Con for Orlando. I have never been to Megacon before. I hear there's already parking issues. I'm going on the busiest day. So I'm super excited. But anyway, I figured, you know what? Why don't I try some makeup, do a nice, fresh, simple face, because I'm gonna be around a lot of just heat and sweatiness and I don't wanna wear too much makeup. So I kinda wanna be a little bit more natural today. And at the end of the video, we'll we'll, we'll throw in a little vlog. You get to come with me as we go to Megacon. Now, I don't know if I'll be speaking <laughs> in my vlog. I'm just thinking about it now because I didn't think this out thoroughly. Uh, so I don't have really like a microphone per se. I have a new camera, but I feel like the audio is going to be garbage. So um, it might be a voiceover, but anyway, you're going to see everything that I see today. And I have been hearing there has been gross things going on this con and I can't wait to sniff it out. That sounded really weird. Anyway, I want to say a very special thank you to YesStyle for sponsoring today. All the products that I'm going to be using in my face will be linked in the description box below. So if there's anything that tickles your makeup pickle, feel free to check it out. That said, I do have a lovely code for y'all to use. Use the code YSGlowTeresa12 to get 12% off orders over $89. And today I'm gonna be focusing on a lot of glowy, super glowy, dewy, whatever products because my skin is very, very dry and I need to be a glowy little goddess. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's pin back the hair. I blew out my hair today. I feel so fresh and clean. The first thing we're gonna start with is a primer and I have two, but I kind of want to try this one because there's gold in it and that just looks fun. So this is from a two. This is the Glow On. This is an oil volume base and y'all know me you know that I love me some oil especially for my dry dry skin so I'm hoping that this does not disappoint and so far so good anyway I am beyond beyond excited to go to Megacon I haven't been to a convention before you know the world ended with COVID <laughs> so I'm just super excited to finally be going back. Although I do wish that it was a horror convention because that's my bread and butter. I'm actually gonna go in with this Hydra base as well. It's from the same brand, but the first one, ah! God damn it. The first one was an oil one, but I kind of feel like it's good, but not great. I feel like I need a little bit more hydration and I feel like I probably should have done this in reverse, but whatever. <laughs> No pressure. We just have to make this, you know, make a blast. No pressure. Okay, this feels better. All right. I don't mind the oil one, but I think for me, I like a little bit more hydration. And I think the combination of the two is very, very nice. I mean, I look like a glowy goddess. Prove me wrong. So I have a couple, actually quite a few different foundations. I really love this one from Claire's. This is the Illuminating Supple Blemish Cream. What a name. <laughs> But then I also kind of want to use these from Peri Para, and these are little like cushion foundations. So I think I'm just going to do kind of a combination of a few different things. Plus I also, <laughs> plus I also want to use uh, this from the brand Amuse. Okay, so basically I have a lot of things that I want to do. Probably going to start with this product first. Now you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to use a little bit of this. I'm going to use a little bit of the Amuse. So let's start with the Claire's. I mean, if that's not a good match, I don't know what is. You know what's really kind of just blowing my mind right now? Just how seamless that blended into the skin. And I think I don't even really, this is, I, I do you hear me? I, I, I can't even talk. Because usually when I do something like this, I feel like I need to use my beloved pawpaw paw sponge and just kind of blend this fucker in. I don't need to do that. I could literally, I mean, I would not go out of the house like this because obviously I'm, I'm like not done. But like, I think I could go on my merry way like this. It has a really nice, amount of coverage it's not completely full coverage but it's enough though that kind of removes a lot of my redness and if I match you know if I use a little bit of a concealer I think I should be good I kind of almost don't want to use anything else right now I'm in love with am I throwing out all my foundations <laughs> I think I am you are wonderful 
Look how wonderful you are. Okay, anyway, so let's go back in, put a little bit more product on, massage into the skin. Yo, hashtag motherfucking impressed. I'm so excited to go. It's been a long time coming. I really do wish that this was a horror convention because like I said, that's my bread and butter, but I'm excited to see what this is about. And I'm also kind of like, <sighs> because the cast of Scream's gonna be there. And if you know, you know, I kinda wanna meet them, but like it's fucking $300, I think just to get a picture. And then there's also Jamie Kennedy. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't wanna give you money. <laughs> And I say that because when I went to a convention in Jersey, he was just a fucking douche face. I can't. He just was not cool. He did not give good vibes. <laughs> he did not give good vibes at all. So yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm torn because I kind of want to meet them, but I also don't want to give that man any money. <laughs> oh, fuck me. But that's like probably the most exciting person. I mean, in my my opinion. I know the dude from Shazam's gonna be there. The dude, I don't even know his fucking, what's his name, Zachary Levi or something like that? Was it Chuck? Is that Alex? Is it Chuck? I think it's Chuck. Chuck, right? Anyway, he is gonna be there. It's like a lot of like, kind of big, kind of random people. Vincent D'Onofrio, Hayden Christensen. I don't know, there's just like a lot of like, kind of interesting people. So I wanna um, people watch a little bit today. Kind of wanna meet Matthew Lillard a little bit. Anyway, can I say, um, I am hashtag impressed. Like, this is wonderful. This is fucking wonderful. I don't think I need anything else. I think we're ready to go. Let's just go, boys. Like, <laughs> this is giving me really good coverage and looking really goddamn natural. I've only been to one Comic-Con before and that was in New York, so is it really Comic-Con? But anyway, that was probably one of the worst experiences of my life because it was in the Jacob Javits Center and of course we went on the day that, you know, it's Saturday, the busiest day. And we had to wait, I think, like, two hours, two plus hours just to walk inside because they only opened one door for the convention. And just imagine thousands of people having to get bag checked in one line. So I think ever since that moment, I kind of steered a little bit clear of big, big conventions because I'm like, this is bullshit. But anyway, I'm hoping that today won't be like that. Anyway, this looks fucking fantastic. I actually didn't even really need to put the sponge on it. I think I'm just doing it out of habit. <laughs> like. Uh, but this looks wonderful. This is great coverage. This is fucking fantastic. Holy shit. If you are uncooked chicken like me, baby. Yo, this is fucking good. Oh my God. I just hope it lasts. Now I kind of want to do just, just a little bit because my face is glowy, but not like super glowy. Could be glowier. My face looks like I've done my skincare earlier in the day and I haven't worn any other makeup. You know, like that kind of fresh face look. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And I'm fucking obsessed with it, but I kind of want to put a little bit of something else in here. We're gonna try this Amuse uh, Vegan Peach Cream just to see if, I don't know, if this adds anything. Can I tell you how stupid I am right now? This is a pump. You know what I did? I squeezed it here, expecting it to come out of my finger. I'm gonna repeat that because that bears repeating. This is a pump and I just squeezed this and just did this, thinking that it was gonna come out. I went to college. <laughs> I went to college, y'all, okay? All right, this is a little bit lighter, but I'm kind of hoping that maybe this will combat a little bit of that redness that I have here. You know, I don't think I really did anything. No, I don't think I really did anything. <laughs> <laughs> Meh, all right. Okay, I think I'm gonna skip on that one. I'm gonna go back to the, I, th I think if anything, it kind of moved this product away and we don't like that. So I'm gonna go back in. I'm just gonna add a little bit more down here. Yo, I don't think I'm buying any more foundation. Fuck this. Yeah, I'm not buying any more foundation. This is it. I'm quitting the channel. <laughs> I found the thing that's gonna be the most amazing thing and I don't think I could top this. It's like I'm an astronaut. I've gone to the moon and now I'm back on earth. What is there left, okay? This is amazing. <laughs> this deserves a fucking parade, all right? God damn, I'm cute. Okay, so. Let's put on some concealer. And I think what I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of concealer from Cleo. This is the killer cover. I don't have any other plans for today other than gawking at celebrities and seeing what the vendors have. I'm excited. I'm excited to get some art. I usually find the best kind of artwork when I'm at these conventions. So I'm kind of hoping that there'll be a lot of stuff today. And I'm also going with Allie Dawson and her husband, Corey. So we're gonna meet them there or at least try to find them in this giant fucking convention center. So that should be fun. Just right here. A little bit of the concealer from the same. 
only because I just want a little bit of coverage. I don't know, I kind of feel like lately, I'm just like noticing right here, it just needs a little extra something, something. So I'm just gonna kind of tap it out with a finger. And then I'm gonna go over it with a sponge. We're looking adorable, I'm obsessed. I honestly cannot believe how cute this looks. Now where I have everything where I want it to be, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder because we gotta make sure this motherfucker stays. And I'm gonna go in with the Roman D powder. This is the better than finish. This is a fantastic, fantastic setting powder. Looking pretty adorable. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. And this is from Too Cool For School. This is the art class. This is in the lightest shade. I like this one because it's like a nice, light, cool tone option. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with one of these jelly blushers from, ooh, I cannot pronounce the brand's name. I'm just gonna put it right here. This brand. <laughs> And I think what I want is a pretty light blush, nothing too wild. So I'm going in with the shade Plum. It's a nice kind of silky texture. I'm just gonna just do a little bit on my fingers. We're gonna blend it out. I love this, it's just like a perfect little amount. I don't wanna be wearing too much makeup today because again, it's probably gonna be fucking hot. It's gonna be 90 today. So I just wanna look as fresh faced as humanly possible. Mm. I'm just gonna go in. Not taking any additional product, but I just wanna kind of blend the bronzer and the blush. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter, and I don't think they make it anymore, but it's Twinkle Cookie. It's from the brand Skin Food. I'm just gonna add just a little, just a little. I don't wanna be too much, but just enough. So next thing I'm gonna do is set my face before I do my eyes, and I'm gonna be using the So Natural All Day Tight Makeup Fixing Spray. This is great. I featured it in my last video, and I love how soft that mister is. Oh my God. It feels barely there. It does a really great job as a setting spray. So I wanna do something a little bit simple today. I'm gonna to use this eyeshadow palette from the brand Cleo. It's a basic bitch palette. There's no frills, warm tone neutral bullshit. I just wanna add a little bit of something something, nothing too wild. Again, don't want a lot of makeup. So I'm just gonna go into this like reddish brown shade right here. And she is very, very pigmented, but yeah. Anyway, so it's pretty early right now, seven o'clock, but gives me enough time to drink coffee, properly shit. <laughs> Because nothing worse is having to shit in a public place like that. But anyway, um, so yeah. So I have plenty of time to do everything that I need to do before I'm with thousands of thousands of people. Just smell awful. Mm. Thank God I don't have a sense of smell. It's where it comes in handy. Sure, it's difficult for me to smell delicious things. But at least I don't have to smell B.O. that's been ripe for the past four years. That looks beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with this brown shade here. And I'm going to... Lay that all, all over the lid. I mean, that's pretty cute. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara, finish up the other eye, and then uh, let's choose a lip. My skin looks pretty fucking flawless. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna really wear lipstick today because I feel like I'm just gonna constantly keep reapplying it. I think what I'm gonna do is just stick with a good old lip oil. And this one is new to me. This is from the brand I'm. And this is a lip jelly. Has a little bit of color to it. Oh, that's nice. That's a good formula. Has a nice little like pink twinge. Not too much, not too little. And this is applying really, really beautifully. I mean, I am motherfucking precious. I love this. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm obsessed. I just hope that this is um, what I'm gonna look like for the whole day. <laughs> and not just for the first 45 minutes, and then I'm gonna be like a melted candle. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about the products really, really quickly before I have to like get dressed and all that good stuff. The primers, I really like both of them. I think they did a really great job. I definitely like the combination of the two. This one was fine, but I think this is the hydration that I needed. So if actually these morphed in together, they would be perfect. But these Etude primers are awesome. I mean, 
clearly the winner here is the foundation. Look at this guy. It's actually technically BB cream. So this is from Claire's, Dear Claire's, and this is the Illuminating Supple Blemish Cream, SPF 40. This is fantastic. This is my skin, but way better. And the fact that I can just literally massage it into my hands without really needing to go over it with a sponge is kind of mind blowing. I'm loving how this looks. It's not settling into my fine lines or anything like that. I just pray that the longevity is good. <laughs> But so far, amazing. I use a little bit of the Clio Kill Cover as well as the same concealer. They're both fantastic. They're looking really good under the eyes and a little bit over here. My favorite thing though, besides the foundation, is the powder. And I know I have talked about this in the past, but this is fantastic. So it makes my skin so seamless and airbrushed and just utter perfection. This is beautiful. Bronzer, we like. It's a nice, beautiful, neutral option. The blush is adorable. This is a jelly blush, so the formula is very putty-like. And, you know, I was a little nervous about applying it over powder, but don't be. I think if you just use your fingers and you just kind of lightly tap it out, you're gonna be fine. Highlighter, which I am so sad they don't make this anymore, but if you ever find Twinkle Cookie, from skin food, bitch, then you know what's up. And then I guess the last thing really is the eyeshadow palette, right? The eyeshadow palette, it's okay, it's not bad. It's it's doing its job so far. Um, Although I will say I am already seeing the darker brown kind of lift a little bit. So I feel like my eyeshadow is gonna look janky today, but it's okay, it's all good, whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> For eyeliner, I used something that I used last time, which is from the brand Riri. This is the Rose Burgundy Gel Eyeliner. This is fantastic. It lasts really, really well in the waterline, and I think it just blends really, really nicely with this whole like dark little smoky warm brown moment that I got going on. Setting spray, again, so natural. This is fantastic. It, get it just for the fucking mister alone. The mister is amazing. And then the last thing is the lip oil from I'm. This is a lip jelly. This is going in my bag. It's definitely turning my lips a really adorable pink. And I just, I don't know, just everything looks so fucking good. I look adorable. So this is going to be living in my bag today. So I can be very easy to touch that up. Plus, I love the little applicator here. So I can just really just glide this motherfucker on without having to touch my mouth. Because, you know, germs and all that good shit. So, uh, yeah, so far so good. I just hope and pray <laughs> that this is going to last. And I'm going to look like this all day. But I know I'm not. I know I'm going to look like a fucking melted candle. But we're going to keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Anyway, if you're interested in checking out any of this makeup, I'll leave the links down below. And again, if you want to get 12% off your order, please use the code YSGLOWTERESA12. You can get 12% off your order over $89. Okay, so um, yeah, without further ado, here's, here's a mini vlog. So funny story, we didn't get any footage of us walking into Megacon. And I'm not going to say that I jinxed myself by mentioning the harrowing tales of going to New York City Comic Con, but this was almost the same experience, except minus an hour, but add the sun. Also, don't wear black. Wearing all black in Florida, it's not cool. It's New York. It's not Florida, okay? I regretted that decision very early on. Anyway, this convention kind of sucked. <laughs> if you like having people walk into you with swords and sweaty arms and looking at the same Funko Pop figures for miles upon miles, then this is for you. But it wasn't all bad. I did pick up this little creature wood carving, which was adorable. And obviously, I had to pick up this cool Jaws print. If this doesn't trigger your anxiety, you're not human. Also, do you know how many times I almost got hit by a fucking lightsaber? We did spot some video games for Alex, but unfortunately it was all shit. But I did pick up the thing I was hunting for, my child, the limited edition graffiti dumpster fire that was released only for Megacon. And of course I couldn't pass up these fat little yetis. This was adorable. He was even cuter. I almost wanted him to eat her. Ironically enough, I never got to meet Allie. Due to the shitty cell phone service, we kept missing each other. Godspeed, my little lamb, I hope you made it out. Also, I never got to see any celebrities, just John Cleese's head. All in all, this was kind of shitty, but having Alex capture this moment, now this, this is priceless. Also kind of hot. <laughs> 